Hi, my name's Becky Francis and I'm a relationship counsellor and sex therapist. I work with individuals and couples, both remotely and now face to face from my private practice just here north of Derby. People are often intrigued about sex therapy and I think it's because it's such a personal subject for all of us. So in the initial assessment, I try and put people's minds at rest and we talk about the goals they want to set and how we might work together. In sex therapy, I use a cognitive behavioural approach, which means I set homework for clients to do away from the sessions tailored towards their goals. They then come back and tell me regularly how that homework is going and we plot the progress together. It's really important in both relationship counselling and sex therapy that we build on the therapeutic relationship. Confidentiality is key and creating a relaxed and informal environment for clients to feel free that they can talk openly. I often say to clients that at the end of therapy, they never have to see me again. And I think that can really help when they're talking about such personal issues. Common problems in relationship counselling could be the aftermath of an affair. It could be trying to raise a young family and juggling work and maintaining the couple relationship in that season. It could be issues in the wider family, such as parental relationships or sibling relationships and the impact that has on the couple relationship. In sex therapy, Common issues are erectile dysfunction, which actually impacts on over 50% of men at some point in their sexual life. It could be low desire, and that could be for a variety of reasons. Sometimes that could be because of the menopause. It could be um, an underlying issue in the relationship. Um, it could be a, a season in life uh, where maybe somebody has just gone off sex. And there is another common issue that people raise, which is a condition called vaginismus, which basically means painful sex for women. Once we've established that there is no medical condition, so I will often say, suggest to clients that they see a GP. Um, we then talk about the psychosomatic issues and if there's a really high success rate in sex therapy in achieving goals. Whatever the issue, it can really help to talk to somebody removed from the situation in confidence. There are lots of professional counsellors that work and can be contacted via the counselling directory. You can also contact me at my website www.beckyfrancistherapy.co.uk.